When you think of Spider-Man's rogues gallery of villains, you think of names like Dr. Octopus, Venom, Rhino, Vulture, Green Goblin, even the Hobgoblin, but there's one name that uh, doesn't always cross people's minds, and it's a character that's been around almost as long as Spider-Man himself, has been involved in some major turning points in Spider-Man's life, and caused some major sagas and conspiracies in his life. And I'm talking about the Jackal. Today we're gonna talk about that long running character, so stick around. What's going on everybody? This is Jesse here. You're watching JLS Comics and you are back with another history and origin video that ties into my trivia question that I ask every Wednesday with my new comic book haul. So last Wednesday I asked, uh, I showed a comic book and I asked, um, it was the latest issue of Spider-Man issue number 24 right here and I asked who the character on the cover is. And there's a couple answers. I didn't actually have any responses to that. I don't know if people didn't know or if they were just busy, uh, but uh, we're gonna answer that today. So we'll just jump right into it. So the character is the Jackal and the Jackal is, uh, his alias uh, is uh, Dr. Professor Miles Warren. Uh, his first appearance was in Amazing Spider-Man number 35 way back in 1965. Um, we didn't get to learn that he was actually the Jackal until Amazing Spider-Man number 148. The Jackal himself, which is on the left side of the cover, was also in Amazing Spider-Man number 129, which came out in February of 1974. And that issue might sound very familiar because it's also the first appearance of the Punisher. Very iconic character as well. Um, so let's talk about Mr. Warren a little bit. Um, he was a biology professor, so way back in Amazing Spider-Man number 31, which also had a really iconic cover, which I'll show here, um, Spider-Man, um, excuse me, Peter Parker entered Empire State University. We also got to meet um, Osborne, Harry Osborne, and we also got to meet Gwen Stacy, uh, who, uh, and again, that issue might sound familiar, Spider-Man 31. Uh, that was their first appearance as well. So they have class together, Flash Thompson's there, and it's like, hey, this is Peter Parker, this is that that um, that nerd from from my high school. So he's here, can't believe I have class with him and everything. So um, they're talking, they want to play a prank on him. But Gwen uh, is somehow, you know, she's attracted to, to Peter, so she's, you know, approaches him. They don't know how to talk to each other because they have a, a mutual attraction that we don't find out quite yet. But Parker pulls a prank, excuse me. Um, Ned and Flash pull a prank on him in uh, Science Club. So it explodes on the table there, and we get to meet Professor Miles Warren, who scolds Peter. Says, no, they can't do that. All right, so um, that's our first meeting of the professor. Um, and then we cut to uh, a little bit later on um, to Amazing Spider-Man number 121, another iconic cover. Uh, and this is the death of Gwen Stacy, where the Green Goblin takes Gwen up to the top of the George Washington Bridge in New York City, throws her off, Spider-Man shoots his web down, gets her leg, but by then she's already dead. And um, police get there, ends up um, being the death being blamed on Spider-Man, which we know is not the case, but they don't know it. Um, so, the death is blamed on Spider-Man. This is shortly after um, Captain Stacy dies as well. So, um, this is 121. So, um, then we cut to a couple issues later, Spider-Man 129, which is that, again, first appearance of the Punisher as well. And we have, at the bottom, the Jackal. So everybody credits it with, with that being the case, with it being uh, the first appearance of the Punisher. But we get uh, the Jackal here as well, who is the person actually who hires the Punisher, who actually tricks him into going after Spider-Man. So he's like the man behind the scenes. We don't know who the Jackal is yet. And we don't get to know that until a few issues later um, when the original Clone Saga starts with Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 144, and we get to see the return of Gwen Stacy. And everyone's like, what the hell, she's dead. How does this happen? Um, turns out it's a clone. Spider-Man 148. Uh, we finally, at the end, um, through all this, they're fighting, he's trying to figure out, Spider-Man's trying to figure out who um, who the Jackal is. 
um, and he gets all these clues. There's some clones already, like Tarantula, um, the Gwen clones there. Um, right at the end, they meet Spider-Man's uh, spider sense goes off, it's tingling. It's like, I hear the jackal. So the jackal's there, and the jackal pulls off his mask, and you see Professor Miles Warren and his glorious, maniacal laughter and smile on his face. And that's when we discover that Miles Warren is in fact the jackal. And then uh, the next issue, Amazing Spider-Man 149, we get to hear a little bit about the backstory and why he's the jackal. And that is kind of an interesting story. Um, they were in, uh, he was the professor for the biology class at Empire State, uh, as I just mentioned. Um, he collected some lab samples. He had secretly, he kind of fell in love with this uh, beautiful lady Gwen who was in his class. So he collected all these samples. Um, and then when we um, heard that Gwen died and the police and the press had blamed it on Spider-Man, uh, something happened with Miles. It kind of snapped, he went crazy. Um, and he wanted revenge. He swore revenge on Spider-Man. Um, and basically her death, it snapped something in his head and it kind of drove him into this despair and this uh, insanity. Um, so basically, you know, in this issue that's telling the backstory about him, he has a lab assistant, Miles does, um, named Anthony Serba, um, who actually uh, took the, those uh, samples. Um, Miles had told him that it was uh, rat samples, rat um, cells, but he figured out that it was humans and um, he approached Miles. Miles kind of freaked out, um, put his hands over his mouth like this to make him stop talking and actually suffocated him. Um, didn't want to accept responsibility. He's like, Jackal, who did it? The Jackal's like a really cowardly character, he says. And um, says, aha, okay, so it was the Jackal who killed. Uh, lab assistant Anthony Serba. Not me, not Miles. He didn't want to take responsibility. So um, that is when he kind of reverted uh, his mind to being the Jackal. I'm going to go back and forth. Um, he went after the Spider-Man. He teamed up with a bunch of people. That first one, like I said, was uh, the Punisher. That was ASM 129. He teamed up with a Hammerhead and a bunch of other people to go after Spider-Man. Um, and all the while, he's, uh, he's cloning, he's making clones, he's refining it. Um, his first clone of Gwen was named Abby, Abby L, Abby Dash L. That was the first clone. Um, so that's kind of it. He created a lot of the, the characters that we know um, as clones. He created the uh, Carry On, the Carry On Virus. Um, he created uh, Ben Riley. He created Kane. He created Spider Side. Um, he was in the Clone Conspiracy, uh, the Clone Saga, both of them. Uh, he kind of gave his um, his formula out at one point to everybody, uh, created a whole Spider Island. He's currently in the Clone Conspiracy right now. Um, so he has been with Spider-Man since uh, Amazing Spider-Man 31. And in fact, a little bit of trivia, there was actually an Amazing Spider-Man number eight there was a Mr. Warren in there who was a high school teacher, different, complete different look, um, sort of a different name because it wasn't a professor, um, but it was uh, Jerry Conway actually who said that was actually uh, intended to be uh, the same Miles Warren. All right, uh, but officially he's credited as Amazing Spider-Man number 31 and he was actually created by Steve Ditko and Stan Lee. Um, by the time we got into, you know, the, the 140 um, range, uh, you're, you're looking at uh, Jerry Conway, who was the one writing at the time. Um, and he's the one who created uh, the name The Jackal. Uh, and he's also the one who created Ben Riley, Jerry Conway, that is. So, there you go. So that's it. That's, uh, that's The Jackal. That's who he is. That's how he came to be. Um, those are his first appearances. And he's really been uh, all with Spider-Man all through, uh, through the years here. Um, whether behind the scenes or uh, right there uh, throwing up some fisticuffs with with old Spidey, with little webhead. So uh, stick around for the next uh, new comic book Wednesday haul. That will be uh, next week, and we'll ask another trivia question and uh, find out some more about uh, another cool character or some part of history with um, with the comic book. So there you go. If you like this video, if you like any others on my channel, and it's your first time here. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little notification bell as well so you know when I upload my latest videos. And always uh, the thumbs up are always appreciated. Uh, feel free to leave some comments um, down below. And that's it. This is Jesse here, JLS Comics, with another History and Origin Trivia video. See you guys soon.